Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We saw a major reversal signal in the markets this, this week. First of all, if you see an inverted hammer signal, one of the 12 major signals in the oversold area, a statistical analysis, and again, this is nothing official. This is just my analysis of uh, observing candlestick signals over the last 30 some odd years, that if it opens positive and trades positive after an inverted hammer, the probabilities are probably 95% or greater that you're gonna be in an uptrend. Additionally, that positive trading day of yesterday created a morning star signal. So you have an inverted hammer, a morning star signal, one of your 12 major signals uh, in the oversold area. And then today, today obviously it confirmed uh, those signals. This is a definite change of investor sentiment. You add the confirmation of the NASDAQ yesterday opening at the same level it opened the previous day and went the opposite direction, providing a kicker signal, which is one of your strongest reversal signals. That added to the Dow just indicates that the bulls have come back into this market with great enthusiasm. Once again, that confirmed today. So if you're looking for positive trades when the market is trading positive, obviously you wanna find the strongest trade potential. The power signals, such as the best friend signal, is when you see a doji followed by a gap up in price. This we call the best friend because it's got two ramifications. One, the probabilities of going higher is extremely strong. And two, the magnitude of that move will be extremely strong. So that was evidence when we uh, recommended LP a while back with the best friend signal in the oversold area. And remember our trading rule using the T-line. If you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, you've got a very simple strategy. You can stay long until you see a sell signal and a close back below the T-line with the caveat that the further away you start moving from the T-line, the higher the probability it's gonna come back and test it. So a lot of people always ask questions. Should we take profits here? Should we take profits here? Should we take profits here? This is what gets rid of that FUPA that most people do when they're investing when they take profits just because they have profits. They don't let the chart tell you what the trend is going to do. So this is called two plus two analysis. Our recommendation on VET today was based upon yesterday's doji sandwich, best friend gap up off the T-line, creating a J-hook pattern. So if we know this is a strong buy, and we can see this is a J-hook pattern, that told us we could be buying immediately on positive trading today. Now, obviously the market helped that out, but once again, we're putting ourselves in positions where the probabilities of a price move or the magnitude of the price move is much greater. Uh, the probabilities are strong and the magnitude of the move is strong. We're not just buying an uptrending stock in an uptrending market. We're utilizing that information that's built into candlestick patterns. Same scenario, DVAX yesterday did a best friend gap up. This is where we use the rare process, reverse analysis, rever I'm sorry, re uh, research analysis, reverse engineering, which means you look at the news to see whether the news that created this strong buy signal is something more than just an upgrade it's something that's happened to that stock that will warrant more upside. The probabilities are extremely strong, but if you see a doji gap up, you're gonna have a strong price move. So that same scenario was based a few weeks ago on uh, why we recommended Angie's list, because there was your kind of your fry pan bottom, buildup of investor sentiment, and then it broke out 
probably on earnings based upon a best friend signal. As you can see, once that uptrend started from this strong signal, today it had a great day to the upside. Do we always get moves like this? Definitely not, but I always reiterate that the probabilities of being in the right place to get into moves like this are greatly enhanced when you just see what the investor sentiment is doing. So not only did we see a J-hook pattern here on a bullish day, but just because the markets are in an uptrend, that doesn't mean we can't analyze charts that tell us we've got good profits going short. And our recommendation on BLI today was based upon the bearish J-hook pattern, giving us a wave one, wave two, and potential of wave three being the same magnitude as wave one. Everything we look at in a candlestick chart is putting the probabilities in our favor based upon what normal human nature does time after time. So very simply, when we saw this morning star signal and today's bullish confirmation, remember the T-line rule. If a price closes above the T-line, it should be assumed the uptrend is in progress with an extremely high degree of probability. We're gonna be using this information. So mark your calendars for October 2nd, that's two weekends from now. We're gonna be doing a free training on which, which option strategies are the best uh, when you apply them to specific candlestick signals and patterns. So with that, everybody have a good evening. Good trading.